Eric Stone Street, best known for his role as Cameron Tucker on Modern Family, is offering a candid reflection on life in the Midwest and his experiences balancing Hollywood and Kansas City. In a recent interview on In Depth with Graham Bensinger, the 53-year-old actor opened up about living in Kansas City after the hit sitcom ended and how it has shifted his perspective on both the entertainment industry and his Midwestern roots. Stone Street shared that spending time in Kansas City has illuminated the stark contrasts between the authenticity of Midwestern life and the sometimes superficial nature of Hollywood. What I realized it does is it highlights everything great about our business, the entertainment business, Stone Street said. And it highlights all the dishabaggery of our business. It amplifies it. Living in Kansas City, he explained, has allowed him to have genuine, meaningful interactions with people, an experience that feels worlds apart from his time in Los Angeles. I'm here, I'm dealing with people from here, and I'm going into the store and having all these authentic, real moments, he said. And then I go to Hollywood, and you're reminded of some of the types of people that you deal with. However, Stone Street noted that there are still perks to Hollywood life. But then you're also offered fruit on a big board, he joked. Would you like some lychee and kiwi, sir? It's like, oh yeah, this is what's great about Hollywood. Despite the occasional pretentiousness, Stone Street admitted that traveling back to Los Angeles for work has its appeal, even if it feels different from his time living there full time. Stone Street's recent stint in a WhatsApp commercial alongside his Modern Family co-stars, Julie Bowen, Ty Burrell, and Jesse Tyler Ferguson, was a reunion he enjoyed. It was fun, he said of the experience. It was great to be back with everybody. It's weird to get back in those clothes, just jump right back in. When asked about the possibility of a modern family reboot, Stone Street revealed that hopes for a spin-off had been dashed. He shared that a script focusing on his character, Cam, and Jesse Tyler Ferguson's character, Mitchell, living in Missouri had been developed but ultimately rejected by the network. I don't think it's potential anymore. Stone Street admitted. Chris Lloyd and a couple of the writers wrote a really great script that spun Jesse and I off in our life in Missouri, and they said, no. The decision stung for Stone Street and Ferguson, who starred on Modern Family for 11 seasons from 2009 to 2020. I think it hurt Jesse and I's feelings, he confessed. I think it hurt Chris Lloyd's feelings. Stone Street explained that the cast, including Ed O'Neill, Sofia Vergara, Sarah Hyland, and others, would have been open to returning after the pandemic-induced hiatus. We had a great working relationship, Stone Street said, expressing his disappointment that the show didn't continue. You give everybody a year's time to be like, do you want to go back? Everybody says yes. Although the spin-off didn't materialize, Stone Street remains open to other possibilities, like a holiday special. I wish we would do a Christmas special or something like that, he said, hinting at ongoing discussions. Like a couple writers have had that idea of doing sort of like British sort of versions of Christmas specials, like a two-hour movie every once in a while. That'd be fun. Despite the rejection of the spin-off and lingering feelings of hurt, Stone Street remains optimistic about future reunions with his modern family castmates, hopeful that the beloved show could find new life in a different format. Become a part of the playful parade community. Smash that like button, drop a comment, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Road to 10,000 subscribers.